Green Bay Sexual Offenders Residency Board for July 10th, 2019. Uh, roll call is Dean Gerondale. Don't we just click the button? Just click the button, I guess. No, we're not. I don't think so. I think he does our names. Do, do, have, do we have to? Uh, let's see. I've got Dean, Heidi, and Kathy all present and voting. So. Yeah. Okay. Um, next on the topic is uh, approval of agenda, prior agenda minutes. I'll make a motion to approve the agenda. I'll second that. Unanimously. Next up, uh, approval of minutes, prior month. I'll make a motion to approve. I'll second any of those in here. Okay. Um, motion passes unanimously. Okay, our first uh, uh, appeal is for Chester Kusick. Yeah. Kusick, could you come up forward, please? <coughs> okay, Mr. Kusick, you're looking to, you can sit down. Oh. Looking to move to 1263 Reaver Street? Yes. Okay, and you're already living there? Yes. How long have you lived there? For about a month. <coughs> okay. Um, you know you're in violation of the ordinance, right? Okay. My agent put me there. Doesn't make a difference. Doesn't make a difference. Okay. Doesn't make any difference. Okay. Um, so, just want to let you know that. Okay. Um, okay, as we go through your case, I uh, just want to let you know as we talk about your offenses, if you just refer to the person as the victim, not by proper name yeah. or, or anything mm -hmm. like that, okay? Yep. Um, so it looks like um, you have two separate convictions, is that correct? Yes. Okay. Was it to the same victim? Different. Different victims? Yes. All right. Can you tell me, um, did you know the victims prior or, or to, to uh, victimizing them or not? I knew him prior. Okay. Um, tell us what, what happened with the first victim. One that was age 11. Yes. She started, I started with her at, at age, when she was eight. And it lasted about three years. Okay. And what did you do to her? I found on her. I, um, came down on her a couple of times. Okay. And how, uh, how did you know how it came to light that you were offending this girl? Did she tell somebody? Yeah, she finally told somebody. Okay. How about the second victim? Um, same household. They were, that was her, her brother. Okay. And I started with him when he was seven. The same three year period. Okay, so what what made you do this, sir? Lack of being lonely. Um, want something real bad, like a like some type of animal. They want it, no matter what, didn't make the difference what the uh, size or age of the person. Okay. How, how many years did you actually serve? Um, first one, a year in Hooper, second one, five years in prison. Okay. And how long have you been out? Um, just been three months now, I think. Okay. And prior to living at this location that you're asking us to, to approve, where were you before? A TLP. Okay. 
Um, I'm reading some, well, first of all, um, if we want to talk about your uh, treatment program, we can do that either in public or private session, which would you prefer? Uh, public. Public is fine? Yeah. Okay. Can, can we talk about his charges? Sure, go ahead. <clears throat> I just have a question. So it looks like on the second offense you were sentenced in 2008 for five years, mm -hmm. so that would have got you out in about 2013, mm -hmm. but yet you just said you got out three months ago. Yeah, I was revocated. And what were you revocated for? For lie detector test. I lied on the detector test that I was with somebody on, on a school bus. I mean, not a school bus, a city bus. And I can't ride a city bus right now because of that. And how long did you go back for? Three years. Was it a minor that you were on the bus with or just on the bus? Uh, it was somebody in their teens. <clears throat> And you were with them? No, they were on the bus when I got there. He was on the bus when I got there. And that's all that you did? I uh, grabbed his crotch. So in terms of, of records that we have for him, obviously you get the two convictions, correct? Yes. Okay. Do you have this incident he just described? I do not. You do not? Where did this occur? In Green Bay? Yes. It was, it was, uh, it was put out from a lie detector test. I omitted it after the test was done. But you never were charged with anything? No, wasn't charged for it. That's why we don't have to do okay. it. It's probably just through the probation college. Okay. So that takes us through 2016, right? If he was revocated for three years? Well, it depends on how, if you got out in 2013, at what point did you get revocated? In what year? Revocated for this last time I got revocated for was 15, 2015. So you were out for two years. In 2015, you got revocated, went back for three years. Yeah. That puts us to 2018. But you said you've only been out for three I, months. Yeah, I've been out since January 22nd. Of 2019 or 18? Yeah, 19. So that's more than three months. That's more than three months. So until, so you, you spent essentially then ballpark five months in the TLP. Right. Okay. It looks like uh, you started to see um, Dr. Drake in February. Great. Right. All right. So are you currently employed? Right, I just, yeah, right now I just started today. With who? Um, Cheesecake Cabin. Okay, and before that you weren't working for anybody? I was temp services, different temp services. Okay. What do you do for Cheesecake Cabin? Dishes. Did you fill out this form, sir, yourself, or your parole agent? No, I filled it out myself. Why did you not fill out the bottom part of it? where it says, are you currently incarcerated and asking for car crimes and years? I didn't understand the question. I'm sorry, because I came in late. Did, did you explain about why you've been at this address already? Did I told him that he was in violation. Oh, already. okay. Yep. So, um, any more questions on his convictions? So uh, I'm looking at uh, the information uh, Dr. Drake uh, provided to us. Um, and one of the things he says, it needs to further address his treatment goals and take full ownership of his actions in order to address the lifestyle change. Mm, yeah. So tell me why you're not taking full ownership of the actions that you've that you had, whether it's the revocations or the original convictions. Um, Pretty slow on some things. I'm, um, wasn't ready to give it up yet. I, the control of in my in my in me wasn't ready to give it up yet. I'm gradually working on that slowly. Okay. It also says. Um, that you want to get help in order not to reoffend and to hurt anyone again. 
do you have a fear of that? Do you do you have yeah? Uh, I have triggers? a fear. Yes, I have a fear. But then, then how are you working on that? I'm avoiding situations if I come up to a um, if I know there's a park there, I usually turn around and go another direction. I've been fi trying to find different directions to my walk or ride my bike to avoid things like that. <coughs> How long can you not ride the city bus? Mm, I think as long as I'm on probation. Okay, and how long are you on paper till? Um, last time I recall, I had 14 years left because okay. I restarted. Are so you on an ankle yeah. monitor? Yes. So then, how do you get around town? Bicycle, okay. or or my roommate that I'm sharing the apartment with now, uh, Anthony Shea, takes me places where I need to go. Usually we end up going to the same place like shopping or something like that. When you got released in 2013, did you receive any treatment at that time? Yeah, I started some just with Jim Drake. And how long did you go to his sessions during that time? Mm, um, with with three months, I three or four months, I that's was the length of time. And then he graduated you? No. I went to, I had to go, I got revocated later, with, later on. Sir, are you on any medication? Yes. What do you take? I take Oosperone for ice high, uh, for anxiety. I take a, a pill, I can't recall the name of it, but it's supposed to lower my Libido. Um, up to 80 grams already on that one. And so, are, is that part of the terms of your parole that you take that medication? Or yes, not? yes. And we are trying to get to uh, the shot, events of the shot, but I've been getting turned down by, by a lot of the clinics. They did not want to offer it okay. so far. So, tell us why you're 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 a good risk for us to take and allow you to live here in Green Bay. I'm um, I'm starting to change a little at a time. I'm working with my agent more, and I'm working with uh, Jim Drake a little bit more each time. Um, I <coughs> when I get this, I hope we get this fish and stay here. Um, Anthony's been, Anthony Shea has been my mentor because he's been out for eight years and I discuss things with him and, and I don't want to ruin that. So I'm, I'm trying to follow his lead, how he's been the length of time he's been out. And, he's, and he works, he's been working very, I think, very successful so far. Even my agent thought <coughs> it's pretty good so far. She, she was just, I recently seen her yesterday. And she gave me a way, she gave me a <coughs> praise that she's probably been what I've been doing so far. Okay. How, how many days a week do you work at Cheesecake Factory? I just started today. But like, what well, is going to be your schedule? Part time, two days a week? Full time or oh, full -time? between full time or part time, but be almost every day of the week, except for one, maybe one day off. Uh, I recall. Okay. But I'm going to learn more about it. Days, more. evenings. Uh, I'm just going to start. It's at noon. Starts at noon. Today I went till three. And my first day, they said I did pretty good. I cut out with the dishes real fast. <laughs> it's not pretty good at dishes. <laughs> Any other questions for him? Does anybody want to make a motion?
I'm going to make a motion to deny Mr. Kwasiak <coughs> 1263 Reaver Street Upper. Address specific. Is there a second? I'll second that. Any discussion? Okay. Again, this is a motion to deny, so a yes is to deny, a no is to vote against the motion. Motion to deny passes unanimously. Okay, sir, so you've been uh, denied to move to 1263 Reverse Street. Um, so you're going to have to vacate that premise and find someplace else. All right? Yeah. Okay, thank you. And one more question. Is there a possibility I can try again later on? Absolutely. Well, I'm all there. Absolutely. Okay. Thank you. Um, <coughs> next up is Randy Shrimpke. I'll make a motion to deny Mr. Shramke to 2711 Humboldt Road, number 5, address specific, due to no show. Second. Uh, next is uh, Mr. Christopher Klein. Okay, we can move to twenty four twenty Old Court Drive, correct? Correct. Okay, um, we are here back to see how you've been doing um, over the last 120 days. Um, so why don't you give us an update? I'm currently uh, enrolled at NWTC for uh, graphic design. <coughs> it's a bit challenging, but I'm trying to struggle through it. So. Okay, how long have you been in class? Um, since May 28th, I believe. Okay. This is my first day. All right, and uh, from a standpoint, are you still employed? Uh, no. Okay, what happened? Uh, I was injured at work, so it's it's kind of hard to get a, um, a job. I had surgery. I had uh, a C6, C7 fuse. So now trying to find employment at some places and everything else is a little bit more challenging because I got to disclose that I had this surgery or whatever. So some employers don't want to necessarily take take the risk and you know employ me. So okay. So moving to this location, how are you going to be able to, to, to pay for the location? Uh, I live with my girlfriend. Okay. So is the idea to, to find employment yet while you're still going to school or not? Yes. I'm trying to uh, look at seeing if I can get something on campus for uh, like a bistro or something, you know, um, something. Okay. If possible. At NWTC? Yes. I don't know they had on campus. I don't know the times. I don't know that they had on campus. That's good. We're getting a coffee shop. All right. From a standpoint, um, from a standpoint of um, how you're doing emotionally, um, tell us what how it's been over the last uh, you know 90 days, 120 days since you obviously you've been back in school. You seem a little stressed out about that. How's everything else going? Everything else is going pretty good. Um, a lot better now and everything else that school started and everything. I was, before I was feeling a little kind of secluded from everybody and it, you know, I couldn't, couldn't really, uh, well, I'm not really able to go barely anywhere and anything, so it's a little, it's a little more challenging. 
So now that I'm in school and everything else, so I'm starting to get back to normal and everything else. I see people, so it's nice. Okay. Were, you, were you dating the same girl last time we talked or not? Yes. Okay. Do you have any questions for him? You said that, <coughs> excuse me, stress, you're kind of stressed at school. Is it the class itself or? Yeah. Um, I'm taking a, a Photoshop um, and then a, um, Illustrator Fundamentals. Mm -hmm. And the Illustrator is an <coughs> online class. So it's, a, it's basically teach yourself. And I struggle with that a little bit. So I got a tutor and everything now and everything to try to help kind of catch up a little bit. So. Okay. I uh I reached out to all the um help aides I guess uh, at at NWTC for uh, student disabilities um for the tutor uh, renting the uh, or checking out the, um, their laptop and everything so okay and they haven't been in any trouble nope mm -hmm. you had asked for uh. Um, a copy, I guess, of my medical. I had uh, gotten this from my lawyer for my workman's comp, and this is all my uh, medical that's on it. Okay, can I take a quick peek? And I believe I dropped out, you requested um, my acceptance letter for school. Yes. I believe I, re I dropped it off. <laughs> yeah. Yep, we got it. But if not, I, I printed off my one from my email, so. Back in September. Okay, does anybody else want to see this? Are you done with physical therapy already? Yes. No. Okay, can I have that back? All right, does anybody want to make a motion? Uh, there's a speaker. Oh, there's a speaker? Um, very much coming up. <coughs> Just uh, state your name and your address for us. It's Lily Cornelius. Okay. 2420 Oakwood Drive. Um, that's my house. Okay. My friend, I own the house. Um, I just, if you wanted any questions, I just put up the request um, just in case you had any questions for me. So. Well, I mean, how's he doing? He's doing good. Struggling in school. Um, he has, like he said, uh, reached out to the advisors. Um, I've, um, I work at NWTC as well, so you know, I, I kind of try and help guiding him along with different things. Um, he's really changed a lot um, at being able to engage with, you know, outside of the house and just instead of just with us, you know, he's actually able to you know, participate in conversations. He, he's, there's, I'm, I'm a very active person and I, I'm always playing sports and doing different events, so he kind of has to drop me off and <laughs> hear the stories. Okay. And so, you know, it is, but he's, you know, a, a great help around the house. Um, he can't fix this, you know, he fixes the stuff and cuts the grass and you know, things that I really can't do. So okay. All right, appreciate it. Thank you. Yes, thanks. Does anybody want to make a motion in regards to Mr. Uh, Klein? I'll make a motion to approve Mr. Klein 2420 Oakwood Drive address specific. Is there a second? I'll second that. to approve passes three to one. 
Okay, sir, you've been approved uh, to move to that address, uh, and we'll send that information directly to that address. Okay. okay. All right, thank you. Thank you. Uh, next up is uh, Mr. Chong Wu. we wanted to know that he completed treatment. Mm -hmm. Okay. Because we didn't have any documentation. Okay. The first time. Okay. So, uh, how much longer do you have in treatment? Um, I'm not sure yet. Um, I just started with him because uh, basically my current class, the aftercare, got switched over to the new provider. So, so it's yeah. like a contract. Yeah. Okay. And they didn't give you a timeline, or is this a group, or is it one it's on a, one? It's a group. direct questions for him since it looks like he had to change in terms of um, oh, I'm his really go ahead. Um, employed full time now. Right? You're right. Yes. That Where are you in middles? And how long have you been there? Um, from May 3rd until now. Okay. Yeah. Where is that? Um, it's close to be here. No, I mean the name of it. Oh, Pioneer oh. Meadows. Oh. And how long have you been there? Um, from May 3rd. Well, I was at the there longer. Um, okay. Drew, like, temp agency. Oh, the first time I saw you. There. Yes. Yeah. Okay. <coughs> okay, I'm going to make a motion to approve uh, Mr. Mood to 3191 on Woodland Drive for a term of another additional 90 days so um, he gets a chance to get through a, a larger chunk of his class and we can get some um, additional background on how he's doing. Second. Motion to approve for 90 days passes unanimously. Okay, sir, you've been approved to continue living at the current residence. The um, reason why we want to ask you back is next time uh, I'd like to see a little bit more detail on how your class is going since you, you switched and you had a chance to not get through it. So um, as you go through the class, ask the provider to give you a little bit more information next time because if things go really well, then we'll probably make it a, a permanent one for you, okay? okay. All right, we'll send that information to that location, okay? Okay. All right. Thank you. Uh, next up is Mr. Wade. Uh, sir, it looks like you're here for a review uh, from the past uh, 90 days. Um, so I was not here, so 
I don't know. You guys can tell me what you're exactly looking for. I looked back at the uh, minutes, and it just said to come back in to check in with. That's all it said. Okay. How, th how are things going? Uh, great. Uh, my job has been going great. Uh, I've been working at Port City Bakery for about six months now. Uh, I've been moved into a higher position. Uh, I do mixing now. And then uh, I work the third shift, so it takes up a lot of my week. I see a counselor and take medication for... Uh, Bipolar disorder uh, keeps me leveled out. Uh, staying with my mother and just going to work, trying to dig myself out of debt, and uh, took a big chunk out of that. And later on this month, I should be finishing up my court obligations. So hopefully, that will be taken care of, and I can move on to another step in my uh, probation period. So did court obligations? Uh, they they were, there were fines attached to mm -hmm. my convictions, and I wanted to clear those out before I got over on my own. So, yeah, mm -hmm. um, mm -hmm. the creditors were first to go, and then now it's the court obligations. So are, are, you, are you in any, any class right now or, or not? I am not enrolled currently. I just see a therapist. Okay. Because uh, I guess I'm on the low end of the Spectrum. criteria. Yeah. So often you see your therapist? Uh, once every three months. Uh, okay. Just to talk over how things are going and if the medication is uh, affecting me negatively or positively. Okay. Does anybody have any more questions for him? I do. You said you have another, like the next step. Next step, what is that? Uh, well, I plan on moving out of my mother's house eventually and uh, being out on my own again. Uh, having to um, figure out where I'm going to be because I want to live somewhere close to work and I'm on the, the ankle monitor, so that is going to be another obligation that I have to uh, attend to. Uh, I guess there's fees attached to that, so I want to kind of line up all my ducks before I move forward. Move forward, yeah. Okay. All right. Any more questions for him? No. Anybody want to make a motion for me? I'm going to make a motion to approve Christopher Wade to 3117 Tob Tobermory Drive. Okay. I just, I just specific. Okay. Is there a second? I'll second that. Motion to approve passes unanimously. Okay, sir, we'll be uh, sending that information directly to that location. You won't be able to, won't need to see us unless you move to some new location, all right? Thank you, sir. I hope to be doing that in the future. All right, thanks. Uh, Mr. Santos? Yeah. Last time you were here, we asked for some documentation relating to uh, your class. Mm -hmm. So, um, let's take a moment to review it here.
Sir, this isn't anything related to you being in a class. This is basically um, the things that you had to commit to in terms of when you were released. Oh, because uh, that's what I, uh, my PO gave me. Yeah, I, I, unless I'm missing something. I told him that, that he knows where I can go, you know, for a, like uh, class or something. You're supposed to bring proof of enrollment that you're uh, attending well, I didn't a sir. class. I, I don't, he gave me that. I, I understand that, but we were very specific in saying you were t that you were. You said you were attending a, a sex offender class, right? Yes. Okay, and that's what we wanted documentation that you were actually attending that class. No, that's all that is is the sex offender registry right. board. That's what I thought. So well, I, well, I can get it. I, I'm going to be seeing him on the 16th again. So when you're when you're going to the class, who are you actually going to a class? Not right now. They they took me out. My PO took me out because he said that uh yeah, I'm supposed to go to a um a, a, a Hispanic one. Right, that's what we talked about last time. And, and I told him that. And he will come back come back on a sixteenth. Of July? Come back this month? Yes, from this month. Your PO said that? Yeah. He goes, come and see me on the 16th, because I told him that I needed to uh, to have this, and I needed to, to be registered, I mean, uh, on a class, and I show him the, 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 the card from the Mexican, or Richard, I don't know, whatever, mm -hmm. and he said, come back on the, on the 16th, and I let you know, okay, so I've got to go back on the 16th at 9.30, I mean, at 1 o'clock. Why did he take you out of the class? Because he he, uh, he needed to go to a Spanish one. He couldn't make he couldn't make sense of the English class, so they wanted to do a, a sex offender class that was in Spanish. Got it. Yeah, so he told me to come back on the sixteenth, and he will let me know where I go. Okay. Um, here here here's my thoughts. Just I'm just talking out loud on the board here. Is is that. Um, See, the seventeenth is a week from today, right? Mm -hmm. So, I, I'm willing to if he if he brings in documentation here to the to the city office that he's registered in a sex offender training class um, by the seventeenth. Then I think you know we ought to give him ninety days to be in the class and come back. But if he if he says he's not registered by the 17th, then it's would be denied. Is that reasonable? Basically, I, d I don't want to deny him right now and wait another month and kick him out of his place so long as he's registered in a class. I'm going to be honest with you. I think okay. it's going to be very difficult to find a sex offender class that's, what I thought. that's, that's Hispanic. Hispanic. My thought is he probably needs to see some kind of a therapist that would be specializing in sex offender treatment. That speaks Spanish. Exactly. <clears throat> You know, like, uh, I don't know. Do you have insurance? Health insurance? Uh, yes, a Medicaid. Mm -hmm. I mean, I think and you I'm would not, have I'm more luck with Kate that Kate. than finding a class. <clears throat> so, I mean, so, I mean, we can make a motion, you know, class or therapist. Mm -hmm. Whatever. I, treatment I, or something. I go. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So does everybody think that's to give him to the 17th after he sees? I think so. I don't think he should wait, though, just in case, you know, there, is, there probably isn't going to be a Spanish-speaking class. He should be looking at therapists. Well, to, yeah. I guess my, my point is is that his, his PO, if he's using his PO to help him on this, we gave him 30 days to, to address it mm -hmm. already. Right. Yeah. yeah, I got it. I got the letter right here. So, you know... I, I I don't know how long we should give him more to, to get it addressed, is, I guess is my question to everybody. And so I'm basically saying, hey, you know, if his PO knew for 30 days, then he or she should have, you know, found, can't, like if he said, can't find a class, well, you've got to go to Jim Drake or, or somebody. 
That's true. He's, I, no excuse, but it's, I think his parole officer is the one that messed up here. I mean, they've been living there for a long time. Right. I, I agree with you. Well, yeah, but it just doesn't seem fair that he would have to move. But, but when did you see your PO? Uh, I think we looked at the PO. Who is the I mean, it might be a once a month thing. Right. Yeah, um, when, I, when I met with Mr. Santos at the municipal court on June 18th, he said that he was meeting with his PO the next day, which would have been June 19th. Oh. oh. <coughs> And I need to let it. Can I ask where you met him? For a citation for violating the sex offender residency violation. No, no, I want to pay that money on that August. You gave it to August 7th right. Right. or 17th. But that's that's why we were meeting. Yeah, but, but, uh, I want to pay it uh, on August 3rd. Right. I, that's, I give my money. That's fine. I yeah. there and that's not the purpose it. of this meeting. Yeah. Well, anyway. So, I mean, the thing about it is, is you know, back in April is when we first you first saw him. Mm -hmm. Okay. <coughs> and so, um, 60 days. Yes, gave him 60 days. And then nothing happened in June. Um, and here we are in July. Yeah, 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 yeah. I just think it's going to be almost impossible for him to meet with his PO on the 16th and the PO to set something up and have him provide us documentation already by the 17th. I okay. just think that's impossible. Okay. So what would you suggest? <clears throat> I mean, I guess we could do another 30 days. I mean, first he's got to find a therapist or a class that's going to be Hispanic speaking, mm -hmm. which again, I don't think is an overwhelming amount here in Green Bay or Brown County. Um, and then to tr if there is somebody available to try to set up an appointment. Mm -hmm. I mean to get into a regular therapist sometimes you're looking at months. Mm -hmm. Right. Because yeah. they're so limited. Yep. <clears throat> is that the card of your uh, PL. PO? Um, rather than kind of guessing, should we just try to see if we can call him real quick? See if he picks up? Yeah. Okay. Can I have your card? Well, does anybody want to make a motion here? Well, I think what we have to do before I make a motion is want to talk. Sure. We have to give him time to see his parole and figure out if there is anything that he can go to. Yeah. Okay. And so he's going to see his pro officer in the next week. So so I, I guess I, I guess the question would be is, okay, or again, I'm just kind of talking out loud mm -hmm. here. Either one, the, the pro offer, officer needs to recommend to him, you know, a place he can go for counseling or for a, a direct therapist, okay? And then we need documentation of that. Mm -hmm. Okay. But the PO knows what he has to do. What he, what he has to do. Okay. So long as he provides that to us the next day, is that I mean, that's doable in terms of the parole just saying, officer saying, hey, I'm going to look for him over the next 30 days, either for a direct therapist or for um, 
uh, a group. Okay. Then let's grant him then that, uh, 60 days then to find somebody. Yeah. You know, at least mm -hmm. to find somebody. So yeah. it may be a risk that he has an appointment scheduled with the therapist. Mm -hmm. Okay. In the future, yeah. Okay, sir. Okay, so before we even make this motion, I want you to be very, very clear, and I want you to repeat it to make sure you understand, because mm -hmm. I know you have difficulty in understanding English. So what we're looking for after you see your pro officer, mm -hmm. okay, is a letter from him stating that he's going to look for a class for you to find mm -hmm. or a therapist within the next 60 days. Yeah. Okay, that letter needs to be signed by him mm -hmm. and returned to the city office. Yeah. Okay, here. Oh. Okay, and we'll give you to the 18th. July 18th. To, to, bring, to bring it here? To bring the letter. And I give it to who? You can give it to this young man or this young lady over here in the well, law office. He, he works over there by the main of the court. I, I'm over there a couple more days, but I have an office you have to come on the here. second floor. Well, I, I, to I, the I, law to, department. To the law department. Okay? Yeah, I don't know where that. Uh, it's second, floor. second floor. Oh, second floor. Okay. I, so, I will ask. I will ask. Okay. So, you want I want you to. Could you? Could you? Could you? So that way he. I look at it. I got it. Got it. Sure. But I got it. Maybe I got it. Tell it. Tell. Habla. Están diciendo los personas que en 60 días tiene para ir con su su profesional oficial y que él le dé un papel diciendo que estas fechas va a tener para ir a sus escuelas que le está dando. Sí, yo sé. Sí, pero tiene 60 días. 60 days. He has 60 days, and we'll put him back for 60 days, so long as he brings that letter in. Okay, tiene que traer ese papel de su profesional. En 60 días. En 60 días. Y eso lo tiene que traer. En 60 días se va a tocar lo que trae de aquí. Sí, el chaval lo que él se lo da, pero si no lo trae, le puede salir caso del problema más. Solo que nomás tiene 60 días, que dice esta gente, y ahí se va. Porque el 17 tengo, el 16 tengo que haber aquí, ¿no? Cuando vaya a verlo, no le hace que fecha vaya. Pero que él le dé esos papeles de que le hizo un, una, vaya a una cita a unos programas que él le ofreció a usted. Ah, ok. ¿Me entiende? Que su probation le dio una cita que esté pintado y estas gentes ya saben, ya trayéndolo usted aquí con el chaval este y se acabó. Es todo el letter. Okay. So, if we don't receive the letter by the 18th from the probation officer, then you're going to be asked to leave that location. Okay. Good. Okay. If you re if we receive it, then you have 60 days and to come back and tell us for another hearing. For another hearing. Okay. And, and yeah, tell us yeah, if you're sure, enrolled. Excuse me. Yeah, make sure to send me the uh, a notice. Oh. Like, like you know. We'll, like, we'll send you a notice. Like but, one. But you, you, know. you you need to you need to make sure I bring it. when you talk to your pro agent that, that you got you got you know two days those, two days to get that letter back here. Okay. All right. Understand? Maybe yes. it, maybe on the 16th. I think he gave it to me. If he gives you on the 16th, bring it on the 16th. Or I can bring it back on, on, on the next board. No. 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 I bring it. I bring it with me. July, July 18th, no later. July 18th, I'll be here. Okay. Or downstairs. Downstairs, yes. yep. I can give it to anybody? The oh, you're going to be over there? Yeah. We, uh, down I, 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 I'll look for you. All right, so I'm going to make a motion <laughs> to approve Mr. Santos for an additional 60 days at 1713 Amy Street, so long as by the 18th of July, he returns to the law office that his parole officer is searching for a class or a specific um, therapist for him to see over the next 60 days. Mm -hmm. Does anybody want to second that motion? I'll second that. Um, 
motion to approve yeah, with it's the it's condition it's stated it's passes it's three to one. Okay. So you have you have until July eighteenth. Okay. All right. Okay. Thank you. Yep. Sir, are you Hector? Yes, ma'am. Does she understand what we're asking for? Also. She understands yeah. the most. Okay. 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 I already explained to her that before the 18th, he has to come in with a document from his lawyer at the Prio showing that he had already put him to some class. Okay, thank you. I just told her that. You have to have a provision before, and on the 18th, you have to have a copy. We'll also reach out to the PO. Okay, thank you. Thank you. All right. Yeah. Uh, uh, next up is Mr. Fish. Yo le tiré todo, pero es mejor a ti, ¿no? Hello. Hi. Okay, Mr. Fish, um, we're here to do a review uh, over the past 90 days. Um, I wasn't at this meeting, so I don't know what specifically they were looking for at the April meeting. I looked back at that minutes as well, and it was just a check-in. Okay. All right, so how are things going? I'm very well, actually. I'm still working with SEEK. Okay. careers and staffing. Um, when I was last here, I was working with Sofidel, it's a paper converting place. Um, I was kind of lacked there, so Seek moved me over to Green Bay Converting. I'm still doing that full time in De Beer, making napkins and paper and things. I do third shift there. Um, okay. I'm in AODA treatment and uh, sex offender treatment with Hanger. Um, both those classes I do on Tuesdays. do those during the day and then I go to work on third shift on Tuesday nights. Um, other than that, things have been going well. No issues with the law or anything like that? No. Okay. Good. All right, is there any other questions for him? I don't have any. Well, Does anybody want to make a motion then? I make a motion to approve Mr. Fish, address specific, 334 South Chestnut. A second. Motion passes 3 to 1. Okay, sir, you've been approved to uh, permanently stay at 334 South Chestnut Street, address specific. If you do move, you have to come back to the board, okay? Very well. Thank you very much. Thank you. Have a good day. Uh, Mr. Schultz. So it looks like looks like you had to change classes too. Is that right? Yes. Okay. Um, so how many between this new organization and the other organization, how many classes have you attended? Ballpark. Uh, just in the last year alone, 14. 14? No, because I did 12 with the other class. And this was, today was my second class at the new one. Okay. Because they need every other one. So. Okay. So, um, is it okay if we talk about in public part of, about your, your treatment program? You sure can. Okay, great. So, tell me the, the one or two things that you've learned so far that are, are most important to you and not be offending. Um, well, just the fact that when, when I committed my offense, I didn't realize what I didn't realize or care about what my triggers were. And um, as I've gone through the group, I started to realize that everything plays in part. Because um, when I went, came in front of you guys last time, I told you about the ATR I went into. I told you the reason why I got the ATR. And I didn't realize 
when I was committing my parole violations to get my ATR, that viewing reform could lead back into, you know, a cycle of me re-offending. Re and as I took the ATR and the new class when I got out, I, I started, I pretty much told myself, hold on. This all had the familiar pattern of when I committed my offense back then because I was bored, lonely, you know, just not caring. And uh, not only am I doing this here, but I'm also seeing a private counselor now too to help with the depression and the anxiety of when I do get bored, you know, just having to get up and be sporadic and do what I can. So I learned to calm myself down a little bit, you know, and just take, take steps, not just try to be out there and doing whatever, whenever, because that has not gotten me anywhere so far. So, so are you able to, is there anybody that you're hanging around with in terms of some friendships you've made or anything, some people um, that you've talked to? There's, there's only um, two people that I rely on and I've known them for 14, 15 years now. One is my daughter's mother, even though me and her aren't dating, we're still the best friends. You know, she helps me when I have a problem, I help her when she has a problem. You know, she'll, she'll always be there for me. She might not always agree with the things that I do, but she'll always, you know, try to help me point me in the right direction. Another one is my friend Dale Hyde. He's the one that, you know, ultimately came out to my PO and actually wrote the statement on everything that I did that actually got me the uh, ATR that I got last year. And I'm not going to lie, I was mad when I first heard that he did it, but then I actually stopped and thought about it. I'm like, you know what? He is a true friend because he told me straight out, you know, I'm not going to lie for you, I'm not going to cover for you. So when I got out, me and him sat down and talked, he's like, I expect you to get out and be mad. I'm like, you know what, I can't be mad for you, you know, doing exactly what you told me to do, so. But yeah, I, I only got two, two friends that I talked to him, so. Okay. Are you still currently employed or not? Yes, yeah, so I've been working at uh, RGL Logistics since October last year. Okay. Okay. <coughs> Um, other questions anybody may have for him? Are you on any medication? No, I am not. Okay. All right. I do, like I said, I do see a counselor for depression, but he doesn't believe that I need to be put on medication. He believes I need to, someone outside, an outside source to talk to every now and again just to get things off my mind, so. Okay. All right, um, if there's not any more questions, anybody want to make a motion? Can I just ask, we denied him in March to live at this address, correct? That's what it looks like. But he's been living there. I, um, since I last moved here, or since I last came here, I moved to the economy and back there, back to the village and it's just been just kind of a, around. Yes, it's just been kind of a back and forth thing. And I talked to my PO while coming in front of you guys, and up until I got this group here, since no, it says it says appeal by Robert Schultz, moved to 119 Monroe Avenue. Yeah, oh yeah, to deny. to deny. Right, yeah, mm -hmm. motion carried. Yeah. If I, were, I was denied because I didn't have the paperwork for okay. for group. That was one of the main reason you guys denied me because you said. Without me bringing the paperwork, showing that I was in group, showing the responsibility. No, is this like a month to month? There is that week, week to week. Week to week. That we pay every week. There. Okay. Okay. Does anybody want to make a motion? I'll make a motion to approve Mr. Schultz to 119 North Monroe, room 205, address specific. I second. <coughs> motion passes unanimously. Okay, sir, you've been approved to move to 119 uh, North Monroe ad address specific, um, and that will be sent there, okay? All right. Please stick with your treatment. I think it will continue to help you. Yeah, I, I got until October 30th, I'm paying for Okay. I'm just trying to make it the last couple of months. So. 
Thank you. Make it a lifetime in terms of, you know, watching what you're doing. Oh, yes, definitely. Okay. Thank you again. I can't figure out how that address is 119. It's on the even side of the street. Oh. I don't know. <laughs> Just notice those. Well, because you're in the parking um, Mr. Sanchez? Right here. chance to bring up the file. Thank you for helping us out. Yes. You're welcome. I just saw you guys a year ago. <laughs> okay, looking to move to 225 Berwyn Street. Berwyn Avenue, sorry. Correct. Uh, reason for the move? Well, where I live right now, is uh, I live with my my uh, girlfriend's <coughs> mother's daughter right this week. She was here the last time I was here to move where I am now. So now that me and her are seeing each other for the past year now, I thought we kind of figured maybe we we'll take another step. And I think uh, it's the best for me. And not only that, it's for both of us. And everything seems to be just like a puzzle should be, all in these parts. You know. Okay. So I like to see if I could move with Mrs. Lee Nazi, and that's about all I got to say. All right. Does anybody yeah. have any questions I'm for still me? employed at the same place, American Foods. I work six days in a week, nine and a half hours, ten hours a day. I only have Sundays off. I go in. I just got up while ago, so. Other than that, that's all I wanted to see. You guys will approve me to move with Mrs. Lee and uh, Nazi. Okay. Does anybody have any questions for him? Does anybody want to make a motion? I'll make a motion to approve Mr. Sanchez, address specific 225 Berwyn Avenue. Address specific. Yeah. I'll second that. Congratulations, sir. Keep the good work and, and good luck in your new home. Thank you very much, sir. Yep. Uh, Mr. Hickey. Good afternoon. Good afternoon. Are you okay? Oh, I've got a medical list of medical problems about five pages long. <laughs> Nothing that's abnormal. All right, here. So, have we not seen you since 2015? That's correct. I've been um, uh, living uh, at 1130 Meacham. Um, I've been caretaking uh, for the woman there. Which has been going well over lately. It's gotten to be kind of untenable because there's not a lot I can do physically anymore. Okay. And she wants to move into an assisted living facility, so it's kind of one of those things where we have to part ways. And okay. Um, so, are you able to work anymore or not based on your condition? I've been uh, uh, disabled for about two years. Before that, at my previous job, I was head cook and assistant head bartender, so. Okay. So how are you, how are you just uh, uh, taking care of yourself? Um, you know, I have four doctors in terms of, you know, with all my medical conditions. Um, you know, it's basically a lot of med checks with them because when you're on that many medications, they have to kind of coordinate to make sure there's no interactions. Mm -hmm. um, I try to stay inside when it's hot and humid or cold and humid because it really affects I have fibromyalgia, two bad shoulders. Today is not fun for me. It's so no, I guess my, my question was more is is how are you going to be able to 
to, to pay for this location? Oh, well, with my Social Security, okay. and I also got lucky. Um, the reason I found this location was my former boss from the restaurant said, I know you've been having a hard time finding a place to live. And he said, our upstairs location just came open. And he said, it's yours if you want it. And he quoted me a ridiculously low price. Brought, you know, because we knew, we've known each other for 10 years, I think, so. So you get disability? Yes, ma'am. Okay. How long have you been on disability? Um, well, it takes a while to get it, but yep. I've, I've been disabled for two years. I just started getting it last year. Okay. So you would have got back pay from how long it took you to apply? You get back pay, but only for a certain number. Yep. They've changed the yeah. rules recently. So okay. You used to get full back pay, and now it's a much shorter period of time. Okay. So, and... You know, I like I said, Vern, um, the gentleman that, that owns the building. Um, you know, he's been incredibly supportive of me moving there. Um, my probation officer um, has been incredibly supportive. Um, you know, she Google mapped everything. And she told me she said I have no problem with the location. So, and it looked like when you were here in 2015, the person you were taking care of was your girlfriend's mother. Yes, my Are former, you still? my former. Okay, girlfriend. so you're not with her anymore? That's correct. Okay. Okay, um, is there any other questions for him? I don't have any, I don't. All right, does anybody want to make a motion? I'll make a motion to approve Mr. Hickey to address specific um, 1021 Lincoln, Straight Green Bay, Wisconsin. Is there a second? I'll second. Did it work for you? Well, can it pop back in? Did it come through for me? Yeah. Okay. Uh, motion passes three to one. Okay, sir, you've been approved to uh, move to that location. We will send you a notice for that. Anything else you need? No, sir. Thank you for your time. All right, thank you. Do you want to notice it to the new address? Yeah, that's fine because he's basically ready to have me move in okay. as soon as I am by able to find a mover. So. Okay. All right, thank you for your time. Mm -hmm. All right, thank you. Okay, our next meeting is August 14th at uh, 4 p.m. Um, is there anything else anybody would like to talk about? Is it possible, it just seems like I used to be able to when, I, when it was all on paper, I could look back to see why we voted or what, now it, we just get this all like they showed up and I don't know why or, you know. So I think at our last meeting, one of the things we talked about was is that within the, the notes, we want to make sure we write why they're coming back. In other words, specifically, we said, hey, bring this, bring well, that. Well, I'm putting that in the letters. To bring this, bring that, whatever we're telling them. Okay, which is which is in the packet. Yeah, and it will show up in the the letter that you letter. send them. The letter I send them tells them if if you decided to tell them they need to bring documentation for something, it's in the letter. Please bring documentation of treatment, or bring, please bring documentation proof of, of employment. proof of employment. But but, but I then think what we see it in that where it no, says yeah. they showed up here April. 2019. Oh, oh, you're so you should just put a quick note that like says what we're looking for. Bring, yeah, us. bring the documentation uh, back. I can put it in this. Yeah. Yeah. I just a quick, you know, half. Just so we have it. Like, well, what? Because uh, you can't even go back to look like. What? Yeah, we're, I can start putting that in um, the meeting notes. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, because I don't ever read that letter you send them. Okay. I didn't know you were putting that in there. Yeah, I'm putting in the letter because we had so. a couple come back that said, well, we, I didn't know. I'm like, no. Okay. Right, I know. Oh, yeah, okay. I guess I've not looked so. at that either. And I had the letter that said, bring documentation, okay. and he was saying, no, I didn't. <clears throat> yeah. <laughs> okay. Yep, I can start adding that in um, the, meeting the meeting notes. And I apologize. I thought the meetings were at 4.30. Oh. I was coming early to review, and then I was like, hey, <laughs> come, we're all here. <laughs> <laughs> Can we get a motion to adjourn? Oh, yeah. Sure, I'll make a motion to adjourn. I second. <laughs> oh, shoot. I turn mine off. I can enter it in for you. Oh, you know what? You may have to, for me too, because I think it just says I have to sign mm -hmm. it. I'm not in. We won't take it. Oh, there it goes. Okay. Can I click that? Mark, mark all is yes. Yes, yes. please. All right.
You must have been bored today because it was almost the same for everyone. <laughs> it's very unusual. Yeah, it's all this.